All right then gang, so now we know the basics and we have a little project set up ready to use here. Before we dive into all the juicy stuff and use some of the different Viewtify components, first of all, I want to show you some of the different utility classes, the CSS classes that we can use on our elements as well, okay? So I'd like to talk a little bit about text and colors. So right now I'm on the home page right here, home.view, and all I'm gonna do is a series of different paragraphs or headings, etc. So first of all, if I do a P tag and just type in some lorem here, and by the way, inside VS Code, if you type in lorem and then tab, it creates a paragraph of lorem ipsum for you. If I save this now and view it in a browser, then we go to the home page, we should see that paragraph. And already we should see some nicer styling than default browser styles. It's a different font family, it's Roboto, and it just looks a little nicer. We have some different spacing going on, etc. So what I'd like to do now is apply some different utility classes to this paragraph. So first of all, let's talk about color. We've seen in the last tutorial that we can give a class of a certain color to an element and that will color the background. So for example, if I say class is equal to red, then this should color the background red, like so, okay? Now we can also color the text. So I could say something like white and then to color the text, we say hyphen hyphen text. So the color first, then double hyphen, then text. If I say this, then we can see now we get white text and I could say instead if I wanted blue text like so and we see blue text. That doesn't look as good so I'm going to go back to white like so, save that and that looks a bit better. Okay, so let's do another example. I'm going to create now another p tag right here and inside I'm going to say lorem and tab to create that lorem ipsum and over here again let's give this a different class and this time we'll say class is equal to, and it's gonna be pink for a pink background. Then I'm gonna say red hyphen or double hyphen text to give this red text. Now, if I save this now and view this in a browser, it should look something like that. Now at the minute, this clashes, you can barely see the text. Now, instead of using different colors, what we can do is lighten the background and darken the text color. So the way we do that, if we want to lighten the background, we can give this a class of lighten hyphen and then whatever strength of lightening we want. So this could be one, two, three or four. If we do one, it's going to lighten it a little bit. Save that and preview and you can barely notice the difference. If we do four, then it's going to lighten the background quite a lot and you can see the difference right there. So that's looking better already. But also I'd like to darken the text to make it stand out even more. So how do we lighten or darken the text? And by the way, if we want to darken the background, we just say darken hyphen four or three instead of lighten. When it comes to text, we can't just say lighten four or darken four. We have to say text, then double hyphen, then either lighten or darken. We're gonna darken it and we're gonna do it by four steps. So text hyphen darken four. If this was darken one, it would darken it just a little bit. Darken four means we're gonna darken it quite a lot. So save that and we can see over here. Now this is quite dark, this text. Okay, so now that stands out and it's more readable. So that's colors for you. And if you want to see all of the different color classes we can use like red, pink or white, etc., then go to the docs, just search for color right here and go to colors. And if you scroll down, you're gonna see a massive color palette all these different things right here, and they all have different keyword names. So indigo, for example, or deep purple. And you can see we can apply darken one to give us this color, darken three to give us this color, etc. All right, and the same is for text, only we put text in front of the darken or lighten, or we'd say cyan hyphen hyphen text to get this color for the text. All right, so there's loads of color keywords that we can use as CSS classes to display our text differently. So that's colors. Now I wanna talk about different font sizes and font weights as well. So let us now come down here and this time I'm gonna do an H1. And inside here I'll just say massive display. Now if I save this and preview as is, then it's gonna look something like this in a browser. So H1, not a massive text size, just a slightly larger text size. Now, if we wanna make this bigger, we can apply some different classes to this. 
So what I'm going to do is apply a class right here equal to display and then hyphen four. So this is the largest text that we can have. Display four gives us the largest text and that is a massive display text. Now, in contrast, I'm going to do another one down here. Only this time I'll do H4. Inside we'll do small display. And then I'm going to give this a class equal to display hyphen one. So display ranges from one to four. Four being the biggest, one being the smallest of the display fonts. So now we can see this is a smaller display, even though it's still bigger than the original H1 right here. OK, so these are the different display texts we can use. And by the way, again, if you want to search these, you can go to fonts over here and go to font sizes. And this is where I'm getting all of the different. If we scroll up a little, all of the different classes from. So we used display four. This is display three right here, two. And this is display one, which we used as well. Let's do a couple of the others as well. So back over here, I'm going to do a paragraph tag again. And inside, I'll just say this is a headline. And then we'll give this a class equal to headline. Save it and preview this in a browser. And you can see a little bit smaller. OK, let's do just a couple more. I'm going to say P and then we'll say this is a sub heading and I'm going to give this a class of subheading as well. It's class equals subheading. Save that. Preview it in a browser and we can see we're getting smaller again. And then finally, I'm going to do a tiny one, which is caption. So P and then give this a class of caption tab. And then this is a caption. And we typically use this underneath diagrams or drawings, etc. And we can see that is a tiny font right there. OK, so again, if you want to see all of the different classes, just go to this page, search for text and you're going to see text size. You'll also see the font weights here as well. So we can apply different font weights to our different paragraphs or different elements. So, for example, if I get this one right here, font weight bold, and if I apply this now to the subheading, like so, save it and preview this in a browser then we're going to see that this is now bold. All right. So we have these different font weight classes as well that we can use. And we have font italic for italic fonts. And if we scroll right down, we can see the text transforms as well to either capitalize something, lowercase something or uppercase something. And capitalize just capitalizes the first letter like this of each word. Uppercase makes it all into uppercase. Lowercase makes it all into lowercase. So these are the different color and text classes that we have access to inside our project and they just come in handy when we want to style our different elements a little bit more.